Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very, very interesting bodybuilding updates, especially this first one, obviously it is Phil Heath with a physique update, physique update that we haven't really had a chance to see in a long time, one where we can see his stomach, we can see whether the bubble gut is still present or not, and how his hernia is holding up, as you can see he had a surgery, and there is some scar tissue visible, but it is probably more important how bloated, how big his gut is, how, how big his stomach is, because that was the main reason why he didn't win that last Mr. Olympia, actually those two last Mr. Olympias he did, and we're gonna talk about in this video whether he's actually retired or not, so let's take a look at this video, we got some footage, that's right, as you can see, uh, we always knew that his arms are big, but here you can also see his chest, and when he's entering this, uh, this bathtub, you can see that his chest is smaller than it used to be before, especially here you can see how flat it actually is, so obviously he did lose some muscle. In the past two years, after the 2020 Mr. Olympia, where he of course didn't win, where he placed third, we have seen a bunch of updates of Phil Heath, mainly showing how big his arms are. But we haven't really seen his midsection, which is the biggest question mark, and overall his entire physique, like legs, like chest, like back, and here we can actually see, and we can see that he did, in fact, lose some muscle. So you know those videos, photos we have been able to see how big his arms were, and that's why majority of us thought that he still is holding on to a lot of mass, and we were wondering why is he staying that big if he is not gonna be competing, but as you can see right here, I mean he is holding on to a decent amount of muscle, considering the fact that he is retired, that's right, I think this pretty much sums it up, I think this pretty much puts all the rumors to rest, I think Phil Heath is pretty much retired, not just his physique, everything else considered, like, he started doing commentary, I mean, if he is commentating Mr. Olympia, what are the chances really of him competing over there again, not, not very high, right? And also, as you can see right here, if he allowed himself to lose this much tissue, what are the chances of him trying to bring all that muscle back at the age where he is at, and also maintaining the midsection in the process, and also getting back that 3D, that plastic look that Phil Heath was known for, that allowed him to win the Mr. Olympia, can he do that successfully and actually win the Mr. Olympia again? I don't think he could, even if he wanted to, maybe, maybe, but in a likelihood is not very high, like most likely he's done. But even still, even if we know that he's not gonna be coming back, it's still very interesting to see a physique update of him, and I'm pretty sure he was trying really hard to tuck that stomach in, to not really show uh, how much, how bad his stomach looks like, so this is probably him trying really hard, if he was on stage flexing, doing poses, it would probably look worse. I mean, that stomach, again, is the sole reason why he never won 8 Mr. Olympias in a row, and yeah, by the way, if you're gonna say, why would he compete again, he has nothing to prove, he does have only one thing left to prove, and that is that he is as good as Ronnie Coleman and Lee Haney, or better, that is the only thing that he has left to prove, unfortunately, he didn't prove that, he won 7 titles like Arnold, but not eight like Lee Haney and Ronnie Coleman, which doesn't make him the best Mr. Olympia of all time, he probably could have been, you know, the best, he probably had the potential to be like 10 time Mr. Olympia champion, if there wasn't for that gut issue, but somewhere along the way something went wrong with it, and unfortunately it did cost him uh, that kind of legacy, you know, the, being the best bodybuilder in the history of bodybuilding, but still seven Olympias uh, in a row is a, is a huge, I mean, it's like third best success in bodybuilding, you know, so that, that's a huge thing, but unfortunately it seems like we're not gonna see him try to get that eighth Mr. Olympia title, because he does look like he's retired. For a retired bodybuilder, he looks great, and his stomach looks better, because he downsized a little, and with losing some muscle, and without eating too much food, obviously the, the, the size of his stomach went down with the muscle, 
And again, I'm sure he's trying really hard. I'm sure he's training his abs a lot. But I think this hernia surgery kind of messed him up a little bit more. And just, you know, he had that gut. And that's not gonna go away so easily. But again, considering how bad his bubble gut was when he was competing, now he looks pretty good. But I was, I thought that he was bigger, I thought he had more muscle, I thought his chest and his shoulders were more massive, you can see here that his arms are pretty big, but again, I thought his chest would be a little bit fuller than it is right here. But it is what it is, I think it was still very interesting to see his physique right now, to see his midsection, and overall, he does look pretty good, like he doesn't have a bubble gut anymore, but does he still have the kind of muscle, the kind of muscle mass that can match the top Olympians? I wouldn't say so. Whatever you guys think about Phil Heath's current physique update, tell me down below in the comment section. Now, here is one of those bodybuilders, top bodybuilders. I mean, he wasn't top 10 this year. He was top 7 at the Mr. Olympia two years before, but this year he was 11th, unfortunately. However, right now, six weeks after the Mr. Olympia, I gotta say, he looks pretty good, Ian Valier does. As you can see, he's still very, very lean, and he says he's holding it together at almost six weeks after Mr. Olympia, sitting around 273 to 274 pounds and pretty lean i feel i'm in a good spot to start the next phase in a few weeks i have a fire burning inside after the olympia to prove to myself i'm not who i displayed on stage in vegas i can be better i will be better as you can see as you can notice he didn't tag patrick tour so i don't know if they're working together still I, I made my assumptions before i think they are done after the mr olympia after him failing because of patrick's protocol i think they're gonna stop working together this is the second time that i messed that up but if his only two shows are the show when he's qualifying for the mr olympia and mr olympia in a year i don't think he can afford working with somebody who is unsure how to pick him who makes these kind of mistakes so i'm pretty sure he He's gonna try and change a coach or do it by himself i think it only makes sense i think it will be a better decision for him because i'm sure he knows his body i'm pretty sure he wouldn't make those kind of mistakes even though he can be super objective when it comes to his physique i still i still think he would do a better job than patrick tour did especially this year the mr olympia now as you can see right here his chest is his biggest weakness even when he's full blown and i'm pretty sure right now he's taking some time to rest up you know i'm pretty sure he's off the gear he's just trying to uh, maintain as much muscle as possible while trying to stay lean at the same time and i'm pretty sure i mean i can see that he did a great job with that but he did lose some of that fullness and you can see it first in his chest his chest does look kind of flatter than usual but again that just ian and his chest his chest was always a weakness so right now uh, considering the fact that he was probably off for six weeks and that he's gonna be off for a couple of more weeks he's still very very big very massive 274 guys that's a, that's heavy especially with his conditioning so i'm really curious what next year uh, ian is gonna bring i think if he peaks properly i think he can win pretty much any show uh, trying to qualify for the mr olympia maybe aside from arnold classic and if everything goes well for him at the mr olympia and he makes some progress i mean a bodybuilder with this much size i know he doesn't have the best structure i know he has a couple of glaring weaknesses but just being this big and getting as shredded as he can get you know that's a well that's always a dangerous package i think he can come back and be a top seven bodybuilder in the world again what do you guys think tell me down below you've seen what phil heat is looking like right now in retirement but let me show you dexter jackson that's right we got a physique update a training video of dexter jackson and i gotta say this guy is maintaining a lot of muscle i'm pretty sure he's not doing any gear i'm pretty sure he's just doing a trt just for health reasons and i'm sure he's training 
I really don't think he's eating extra clean. Uh, he was never really known for being the guy that eats clean food all the time. He was always eating junk food. I think always when he was prepping, he was always eating at least one junk meal a day. And he was still getting super shredded and he was called the Blade for a reason. So I'm pretty sure right now in the offseason he's eating whatever the hell he wants. And he's training occasionally and he's on TRT. And he maintains a lot of muscle. Look at those freaking arms. Let me show you the footage. His last Mr. Olympia was 2020, just like Phil Heath, but Dexter is 53 years old. And being 53 and having arms like this, look at this guy. Look at it. This is crazy, man. <laughs> he has one of the freakiest genetics, if not the freakiest genetics of all time, of all bodybuilders. I mean, being this old and retired for a few years and probably not training, not, not trying really hard, looking like this... This is just crazy, man. 53. Amazing. Dexter Jackson looks crazy right now in 2023. Whatever you guys think, though, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.